just want to do a video kind of breaking down this whole action and reaction thing. And I'm I'm so impressed that it kind of worked out perfectly just the way it should have. 50-50. Action versus reaction. So, action is based off of reaction. There's no start and there's no beginning. So every action you make was a reaction to something else. Whether it's an hour later from that event or a second later. You're reacting and building upon this ever-growing and fluctuating thing we call life. So, yeah, I think it's hard for a lot of us to... <laughs> All right, you're stuck, Noah. Focus. Calm yourself. Got it. Really sink. Let that sink in, too, because our egos want us to believe that we act and we create something, when even the act of creation is merely bringing something to light, to the light, shining light upon it and manifesting it physically. It exists in a space and we're able to tune into it, but we don't actually create it. I guess we do, but it's just our understanding of the word creation is something, I guess that it's not. I'll say that it's, it's shallow. Our understanding of creation is very shallow to what it really is. And I think it's incredibly humbling to realize that you're just a gateway for these things to come to be. Like, even the beautiful Ankh was mused. I use muse because it's almost like you are just this, this thing of expression, almost as if we're instruments. Instruments that are able to play instruments, like a, a saxophone. So something, this universe is playing me like a saxophone to create these things, to show me these things, to bring it to life. And they have some sort of meaning, but we might not understand it fully. Like the Ankh, for example, again, has the male part and the female. And the Egyptians used these, I believe, as a spiritual tool, also as a tool of sound so if you put a tuning fork on the end and you tap it to like strike it and make a sound it'll vibrate for longer i believe more than twice as long as it would without this end piece to kind of bring back the energy so the egyptians saw themselves their bodies as that such thing and were able to arc the energy around and kind of keep it looping and keep the energy that they ingest and project more solid. Not solid, but... I guess pure and condensed, I don't know. But yeah. So getting back to this whole thing of action and reaction, it's interesting those who chose reaction versus action and action versus reaction, I believe it tells a lot about where you are and who you are. And I think you're not wrong either way because you're right. You're right. But to be humble enough to realize that your action is the reaction and that a reaction is important and so is your action. I think the difference between the two is the time period or the time in between. So... For a reaction, it's more or less so like, I snap, so you snap. So that's what we believe is a reaction. But in action, I think we've come to deem as, okay, a long period of time goes, and then you're in a different setting, different place, and then you act. You bring forth something that you have carried with you up until that point, or have kind of like gathered in that, that place, that environment, You've seen something, heard something, and then you act to express how you feel about that thing at that point. So then you're acting, but it's just a reaction to what's going on around you or something that's happened before you in the past that you brought with you. So, yeah, it's just something to think about. While you're going out your day, just think, or just realize, actually, that you're just reacting. And you can choose how to react and then thus act in situations.
One of my favorite quotes is by Macklemore. What's his name? Ben Haggerty. He says, you can't control life, but you can control how you react to it. And I just thought that was so beautiful. Because it really breaks down this whole idea in a nutshell. But yeah. While you're going throughout your day today, just recognize who is acting with the idea that they're acting and controlling this and who's reacting with the understanding that they're just putting pieces down with everyone else. So yeah, have fun, share the love, and as always, open your mind.